Maple potato. All right, welcome back to Potato Plays Sims 4. Uh, we are on episode three. Last episode, Lisa almost died cooking breakfast. And uh, everyone around her acted as if that didn't happen. So, um, yeah, that was pretty, pretty terrible. So it is Friday afternoon. Um, Darwin is going to take a nap and then he's going to dance his little heart out. And then he's going to quit his job. Ooh, or because we need to have some fun. <gasps> What's that sound? What's happening? Why was that? Oh, is it because of those leaves? Oh, it's because Darwin woke up very mad. Let's have him, let's have him fish. Um, fish together with, I don't want Lisa to fish. Let's just have him go fishing. That's a fun thing he can explore. And that way that'll bring his fun up as well and get some skills. Lisa needs to eat and I really want her to practice her music because I want to get better at that. Um, let's have her serve dinner, vegetable dumplings, because it went so well last time. And, um... We'll kind of go from there. Let's speed speed you up. Um, I heard there's a talent showcase. You know what? Yeah. Let's meet all over down at the solar flare and do that. That sounds like fun. So I don't know what the talent showcase is going to look like. Um, prepare to be entertained by some local talent. Um, I mean, Lisa doesn't have any talent at this point, but we'll give it a go. Oh, this is Oliver. He's one of my favorite Sims, Oliver Armstrong. I built up, like, um, I started out with his dad and built up his family. And he's really good at music. I forget exactly where he's at in the career. Um, but he's really fun. He has a little cute little son. <gasps> is he single? Ooh, maybe there's a love connection here. Why is she? What is she doing? What is she doing? Oh. Oh, it's because she's famous. Ooh, can we ask for a selfie? I don't even know who this is, but let's do it. Brittany Cho. Proper celebrity. Oliver looks really done. Um, let's fish for some compliments, because that's, uh, that's what Lisa's going to be all about. And then, we can get some food. Should we just kind of start? Let's, uh, practice singing. Lisa's a self-absorbed sim. She loves to fish for compliments and receive presents and attention. Uh, interactions like gossip. Check total followers, sign an autograph, inside a cheer, and take a selfie will cause her to be happier. However, lack of attention or forgotten birthdays are likely to make her very upset. Ooh, okay. So she's a little bit of a narcissist. And that's fine. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, this is a good talent showcase. You all are so talented. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so she can become a celebrity. Um... I don't know if she's going to make it right now, but who knows? We're going to practice. Maybe that's something we'll do with her. That'd be kind of fun. Man, that's that's gnarly. Let's see if we can convince. Oh, and Jonah. That's one of my characters, too. Or my Sims. Oh, wow. It's so bad. It's really bad. But at least she's, hey, she's having fun. She's trying her best. She's giving it her all. Um, let's go maybe talk with him a little bit. And we're meeting people. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I play The Sims, I always try to keep my Sims socializing with um, Sims I've already created. I don't really like randos, to be honest. He looks, he has an, he looks very, he's got an interesting face. He looks like an interesting dude. Okay, let's order some chips. Do we work tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, no, no, she doesn't work tomorrow. Okay, cool. So we can sleep in. And let's switch. Control to Darwin really fast. Let's go back to make sure he's doing okay and getting his 
He needs to do his homework when you get that done, because I definitely don't want him to fail school. Oh, he's so sad. Oh, I feel so bad. Okay. Use that. Um, can we just dance? Wind down with classical? Why is that on the floor? Oh, no. And then get leftovers. And... Hopefully when we come back, he'll be just, he'll just be magically fixed. That's how that's definitely how it's going to work. Okay. So we're back. Let's um invite Oliver to dance. Oh, that's I I really miss when Sims could like dance like together, like actually dance together. Um cuz now they kind of dance like side by side or Oh no, where is he going? Oh, is he just straight up? Is he just straight up leaving? Oh. Oh, I think he's gone. Well, dang it. Okay. Let's um ask Jonah about his day. And then I think that we're just going to go back to the house. I don't feel like there's a lot going on here that's very exciting for us. So, um, yeah, let's go. Let's just go back to the house. And then she can practice her music and get we can get them ready for their their weekend. Ah, oh, the talent showcase was really bad. Lisa, let's go. Why don't you just go to sleep? Um, can you okay, you're really having a hard go. Had Darwin do some reading until we got his mood at least better. Um, and now we're gonna have him finish his homework. And um, that way we just don't have to even worry about that through the weekend. Hopefully we can do some fun stuff with him in the meantime. Um, Lisa's asleep on her air mattress. Hopefully we can get some money. I wonder if there's some cool stuff we can do around town for money, like forage for things and I don't know, sell some fish. Oh my gosh, you don't have to nap. You can like actually sleep. Ooh. Talk like a pirate day. Ooh, fun. Uh, time to practice your buccaneer lingo. You being heard to speak like a proud pirate this day. Cute. Definitely partake, partake in that. Okay. Lisa. Uh, let's use the head. Let's uh, <laughs> dream of the sea. What? What is that? Take a steamy shower. It makes him flirty. Ooh, okay. Yes. And then... I feel like we should invite Oliver out to breakfast or something. Get to know him. I'm really digging the idea of dating Oliver. I think it's a perfect opportunity to do so. Oh, man. Okay. And... We'll wake him up, get him showered, eat, and then we have to have him do some fun stuff. Um, I took a break for a quick Google search. So Darwin can practice magic. Yay! Um, I just need to bring him back to the magic realm and pick a sage and get him all signed up, I guess. <laughs> Recruited um, for Dumbledore's army. So we'll go back and we'll do that. Um, definitely want to go on our breakfast date with Oliver. So let's hurry up the shower and then... Oh, hmm. Yeah. Oh, might butcher this. La ant a tent. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try. The bistro. Let's go there. Um and yes, we can invite Oliver. So perfect. We'll have a nice French date. Look how cute they both are. Oh man, she's starving. Okay. Let's think about talk like a pirate. Let's get that. Let's do some of that. And then Um We'll request a table. Oh my gosh. One thing I hate is when um, all of the leaves pile up and then you have to go and you burn them. And if you don't burn them, they kind of just sit there like garbage and uh, smell super bad. But it's one, I think it's a huge flaw of the game. Because it's like, I feel like I'm just constantly burning piles of leaves in the fall. Do they give us this... Oh, okay. I was about to say, did they give us a giant table? There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I love how you can see the kitchen right there, too. That's nice. 
cool. So let's uh, let's not come on too too strong. <laughs> we could tell a dirty joke though. You know what? I can't resist. Let's do it. Let's get dirty. Oh, he's into it, Oliver. Um, uh, you know, I want to get to know him though. He's more than a piece of meat. So let's. Gossip about Moody. Get to know. Let's get to know him a little bit, and then, um, we'll order for table because she's she's starving. So we need to get her taken care of. Okay, so he's. Cool. He's taking care of himself. Ooh, we're a cheap date, though. Oh, man. Let's get... We can do coffee. Let's get them both coffee. Let's not do appetizers, because we can't afford it. Let's go straight to the main course. Um, Let's do a BLT for Lisa. And Oliver... Let's get him some cheese pizza. He looks like the type. Cool. So $29. Awesome. We can afford that. Gained a Christmas skill. Always nice. Let's ask him if he's single and see what he says. Identifying some new fish for some reason. Oh, he is single. Okay. Sweet. So I think that's where we're going to take this. Unfurl sales? Is that, to, is that asking to woohoo? Asked to rock the boat. Oh my goodness, this is so forward. Let's see what that, the unfurled sails. Let's see what that, that is even about. Okay. Oh, I think that's just flirting. Just basic flirting. Cute. Oh, he's into it though. Oh, he likes his order. Good. Oh, he's cheerful. Oh, we learned some stuff about him. Asked to join household. Let's just have him move in right away after one brunch date. It's snowing. I don't feel like either of them are properly dressed. Well, Lisa kind of is. You know what? She's, she kind of is. Fun fact about Oliver. I explained this in the first my first episode about when I start a family, I like to start it for whatever reason, like um, with a dead parent or something like to so that way I can have siblings. But, you know. Um, their parents have passed away or something like the Walt Disney of the Sims and um, Oliver, his dad, he was a single parent because his wife had passed away. And that was the story I gave him. Um, and maybe someday we'll explore that whole lineage and all that stuff because he has like four siblings, half siblings. That's another thing that I'm really bad at with The Sims is I love making gigantic families and I have no idea what to do with all of them. Oh my gosh, it's gonna, it's gonna thunderstorm. Oh no. Oh, run inside. She didn't even finish her food. Oh, I guess I should pay the bill. Let's see. But she ran back outside though. Okay, let's end the meal. Let's pay the bill. We didn't finish, but it is, like, actually storming. Uh, let's hit bump, because that seems like fun. <laughs> Cute. And embrace. And then we'll, um, we'll say goodbye and we'll go home. Oh, he didn't like that. Shoot. Okay, that's okay. We'll give him an awkward text about it and apologize. Okay, and so we're back home um let's figure out we'll take okay cool so darwin's in a really good mood so we're gonna have lisa we're gonna shelve her and we're gonna have her practice um her music to get up that skill oh okay yeah because she just needs to practice music um for her daily task and then she um i think we can easily score ourselves a promotion and perhaps an actual bed um in the next couple days when she's working. So let's, ooh, let's clean this up, first of all. And then, yeah, we'll go to the magic realm and start to look at practicing magic. Oh my gosh, I had to give him those bunny slippers because they're so cute. The perfect accessory. <laughs> I like how we know these uh, firefighters because of when Lisa caught on fire. That's great. We should become their friends. 
Maybe they'll actually care that she caught on fire. Okay. Glimmerbrook Watch. I really want to... Oh, maybe that can be one of Darwin's aspirations. Maybe we can build him a house here someday. Ooh. Become a huge, really well-known sorcerer. Build him a house right outside the magic realm. Oh, that would be fun. Oh, okay, so here we are. We're back in the magic realm. Um, in order for him to become a sorcerer, we need to actually have him um, choose a mentor. So we have uh, the Sage of Mischief Magic, El Faba. So that's someone we can choose from. We have the Sage of Practical Magic, Simeon Silver Sweater, uh, which sounds pretty sweet. What kind of, what kind of wizard are we going to make? Darwin, though. I feel like there's one more, isn't there? Yeah, there's there is one more. Oh, there we go. Um, we have Sage of Untamed Magic, and that's uh Morgan Ember. You know what? Let's go with the practical route. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's still talk like a pirate. Let's do funny introduction. Oh no, but that's one of the things he wants to accomplish. Let's uh let's do a holy me matey. I think that's just a friendly introduction. I love um his outfit. I think it's really cute, by the way. Like the rainbow shoulders. And it's super cute. That outfit, too. That dress is adorable. Okay. Tempe. Uh -huh. ah, so, so. <laughs> Ask how to use magic. From Simeon. Who's that? Johnson <laughs> Whoa. Learning the magical arts is a wonderful and uh, perilous journey. Are you sure you are prepared to become a spellcaster? I was born ready. Uh, maybe later. Hmm. I was born ready. Let's do it. <gasps> Ooh, yes. Cool. Um, in order to bestow the gift of magic upon you, I will need seven magical moats. I've granted you moat sight in order to retrieve, see and retrieve them. Search the realm for moats and return to me quickly before the spell wears off. Okay, let's go get these moats. Oh, I see them. Should be pretty easy. Just a beautiful, beautiful realm. Like I said, I wish that they had put more into this house. Ooh, they're having like a magic duel. Oh, I love that animation. It reminds me so much of making magic. Whoa. Yes! Darwin! Cool. Oh, okay! So, now we just need to learn a spell um, to get past the first step of his aspiration. Uh, Darwin is now a spellcaster. You can view his spellbook by opening the, his perks panel or by clicking on the button in this window. Let's open our spellbook. So, we have the schools of magic. A spellcaster is defined by what they learn and study. What kind of spellcaster are you? Okay, cool. So we have practical mischief, untamed, and alchemy. Sick. Okay. Well, here's a bunch of stuff we can learn about practical, mischief, untamed, and alchemy. Awesome. And yeah, so definitely going to have a lot of fun exploring that. Um, so we'll kind of unlock things as we get to them. Can we... Ooh, let's experiment a little bit. Arvin Belcher. Hmm. I said Bob's Burgers. So here's our cauldron. Now we can cook more than mac and cheese. Oh, we're kind of talking to Arvin, making a friend. Ooh. Okay. So we're experimenting. What would happen if we, like, tried to duel somebody, I wonder? Let's do a funny introduction to her. Uh, Lindsay Cazares? Maybe? Ooh, that dress. Work. Challenge to a friendly duel. Yeah, let's just have some fun. I mean, I doubt he'll win because, I mean, he's just starting out. But let's, let's give it a go. Oh, I don't think she was into it. Well, he has to get to sleep anyway. So let's, uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, he's super tired. I always do this to Darwin. I just, I exhaust him. So he's back. Let's uh get 40 winks. And we need to get Lisa kind of set up. I think she did a lot as far as practicing her music. 
Um, so we'll get her set up and I'm actually going to wrap it up here. So, um, again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.